right, so guys, this is Shana and today we're gonna check out Hillcrest Heights in Puchong Utama. Let's go! are in Puchong and just for your information Puchong is very big so this part of Puchong is called Puchong Utama and this is part of a master plan by Hillcrest Garden so when we look around here this is amongst residential projects suddenly got one new building and this will be Hillcrest Heights two blocks of them and the benefit of being part of a master plan development is the infrastructure entrance statement all can be controlled because it's all done by one party. So that's great. When we're coming through the roads, look at the amount of trees. From the main road, you get two directions, turning left and right into this guard house and that will be the entrance statement. And for security purposes, you have walking pathways and those are barricades at the roadside. And you have these tech tiles for inclusive purposes. Coming in, this will be the water fountain entrance and that will be the car park actually. But they added this layer for creepers to go a little bit, put in their logo, looks so nice. So in total, there are two blocks of residence, two 55 five units each in this 7.58 acres free whole land. It's very rare if you calculate per acre, it's like 67 over units only. What a luxury in today's context. Anyway, in the bottom of each block, there will be elements of retails around. So that can be the kindergarten, that can be the library, right? They already designated it out. And you look into the glass roofing. There will be concrete stamping floorings for the road. All visitors' car park will be parked alongside the main entrance here. And you can already see this is built within a residential zone. So it's going to be really, very really quiet on one side. The other side, then you will see a certain level of density of industrial zones. Then two blocks of residents will be sharing one main drop-off. And for car park-wise, every unit comes with two, some comes with three. Of course, the larger unit size one. But because the size of the land is so big, right, 7.58 acres, and you only have two blocks, the amount of canvas you have for your car park is amazing. Therefore, there's only three levels of car park, not like some higher dense projects that we see just to go up the project takes some time. But the height of the car park is 3.25 and you look at the exposed concrete. Like, without finishes also, it looks so good. But they are still using beam and column system, but it's so tiny. Look at the span of it. Coming out from the entrance, there will be this way in for residents to access into the car park. At the other side, this will be the industrial zones already. But look at the distance away from them. And it's all decorated. If you look from the top, it's amazingly done. So you won't feel it at this level and I like the treatment so far in terms of planter box so they can easily just tear down all these planter box right to save more cost but they just put it to add green elements to the facade then by taking a lift up from the main lobby we will come to the entrance to the clubhouse and the facility stack but before that like the residents will be coming via this bridge connecting Tower A and Tower B all together. Just looking around, they have very high usage of glass. So that allows very high visibility throughout all the spaces. And you see, it's not enclosed all the way, so it promotes ventilation a lot. And you look into the roof. Wow, so dramatic. Then coming in, this will be the lounge where parents can just hang out when the children just go crazy again with the extensive glass and you have louvers at the top and this will be the entrance into the gym two treadmills three bicycles here and it's furnished by health gym and here you have a three in one or four in one weight machine three weights here and you have this extensive wall of mirrors that's good 
Then there will be timber floorings. And this reminds me, like those old clubhouse back then when condos are not as popular. So this is like the chalet kind of design. And that's because of its sheer size. When you are jogging, this will be the thing that you're looking at. Next to that will be this only big length swimming pool. So in total that will be 50 meters in length and it's huge. We have timber light tiles around and it's a sunken pool, very nice. And this will be the garden units of Tower B. They use the landscape to be the barrier a little bit. How I wish it could be elevated a little bit higher but this is fine. And when we think again, in total there's like 510 units only and this is the size of the swimming pool eh? this is like a theme park level kind of swimming pool and the swimming pool tile is also kind of nice where within the tile itself there's water patterns at the far end there then you will have such a treatment next to a jogging path and it's actually treated to give you better grip this will be the very extensive herb Garden. The size of the herb garden is comparable to a lot of gym rooms that we have visited for other projects. This will be maintained and managed by the management and that also includes the retail space below. So they are built not sold and all will be handed over to the management. The rent of all those spaces will be placed into the management to kind of balance out the maintenance fees. So that's great. Next to the herb garden, extending all the way to the boundary, you will have somewhat like a covered tennis court that is turfed up. So there's artificial towings to it with some sand to kind of mimic that competition level. Wow! And it comes with lightings as well so you can really play during the night or the late evenings. Ooh. Then we also have two badminton courts that is covered so the height is I think sufficient and you have normal ventilation on the top, the right type of lighting for a badminton court which is lit from the side and the floorings are also treated nice that is power B this will be a small hidden corner for people to do some yoga they prepared some timber like tiles and it's surrounded it with landscape that also connects into the reflexology pathways here and usually we see like one or two lanes on it right like look at the extensive coverage of this <sighs> and again this is the jogging path around the entire boundary of the facility stack and throughout the entire path for safety purposes they will be steel handrails and at the edge they kind of use the landscape to prevent kids from going around the edges and there are CCTVs all around and after chatting with the team this project is actually gold standard in GBI that's extremely difficult to achieve that includes placing the towers in the right orientation to design the entire spaces to promote natural ventilation greeneries they have solar panels at the clubhouse to kind of contribute some back to the grid water management waste management and all even the windows are actually tinted to kind of reduce the heat into the spaces what a great place to raise a family well provided if this location is convenient to you lah. coming back from the far end over to the center of the deck there will be a slide into a pool for kids next to the main swimming pool then there will be a water play area for kids as well next to that we are now on top of a koi pond and it's connected via uh, corridors and you have steel handrails and glass around it and you have a pavilion here where the koi is around Woo! That is so cool. As if all those are not enough. We have the main space to really burn off all the children's energy. And it's done in a very open concept. Next to that will be this barbecue area. So this project was launched in 2018 and they handed over everything last year, 2022. So now as we walk past the main buildings, we will hear a lot of renovation noise. Looking at the facilities decks alone, this is a very very own stay focused project and from the perspective of a guy with kids right this is like their weekend hangout spot however at this age of the facility deck we are located next to the local road of 
Prima Utama. So this is the main road that connects into the, the Chinese primary school. There you can see some Roma Roma Kampong still around this place. Then at the far side that will be Banda Putris already. And one of my initial concerns of this being positioned next to an industrial area, apparently there's not even noise inside. So this is like a HQ for a logistic company where all these are just warehouses. And some of them are actually translated into commercial usage like FMB outlets. And I really felt the sincerity of the developer by doing this empty land up. Right? and they surrender all to the local municipal and it's to maintain by them. So you will have a separate gate out from the project itself in case this jogging track is not long enough. There's another jogging track right here. Okay? So now we are at Tower B and this is their standard leaf lobby. And you can see the stone finishes and all. And in one floor, there's only eight units divided into two wings serviced by four leaves. And you look into the openness of the layout. That actually actively promotes ventilation across the spaces. That's nice. So the width of the corridor is 2.45 meters. The ceiling height is around 3 meters and it's very very open so there's two wings to this one wing will be four units check out this common area it's oh, so luxurious this indirectly will be the children's play area and then we have steel handrails built on curb there's no exact corridor space into your unit because you have this open area just that during raining seasons, like the weather that we have now, a bit dramatic. That's why they will be splashing of waters into the corridors so it will get wet. They have their treatments done already, but borderline, no matter how it will wet. Man. And this will be the unit that we're going to check out today. This is Type C, 1367 square feet, 3 bedroom unit. And when we go in through the foyer, immediately you will have your living and dining connected to the facade already. Then you will have the kitchen space here connected to the yard space and the storeroom. All bedrooms are connected to the facade, so all of them will have amazing views and ventilation and daylight. And it's not connected to any void, so this is a corner unit. For the leaf, this will be the experience going into the unit. The width of this foyer is 1.8 meters. You have a curb up and going into the unit. The dock clearance is 970 mm and it comes with a Samsung smart lock system. Immediately you will be welcomed by your kitchen, dining and living already. So the ceiling height here is around 3 meters and the width here is 3.75 meters. The wall to wall width is so amazingly huge to the extent where this furniture look really really smaller because this show unit is located at the same level with the facilities deck indirectly this is a garden unit so the corridor width here is 2.6 meters you have a transparent steel roof here and this really feels like a resort home because the family is seriously one door away from the amazing facilities deck and one of the treatments that I like will be this glass and steel handrails that opens up the boundary. So the invisible boundaries is actually the hedges and the landscape treatments. So this someone gives you that privacy, but what a great private outdoor space for the family. Unfortunately, this unit is being sold. Just imagine there's an outdoor seating area here and you sit here with a book. Then you have an outdoor fan here. That's the herb farm. You have all the hedges. And these are all maintained by the rest of the neighbors. <laughs> then you have the water sound to mask noise from the traffic. Wow! Then within the facade, there are louver designs like this. And these are supposed to provide shadings for the rooms. And for flooring, they are using almost the same one like the facility stack. So this is the timber like house. So something about this address of Puchong, right? So when people have an understanding of Puchong, it's usually around Banda Putri, 
is usually around IOI which is Pujong Jaya area and that's about it so Pujong Utama is in between Pujong Jaya connecting to Bandar Putri Pujong and it's somewhat like an area around an internal road and it comes to a surprise to me when they tell me this entire Hillcrest Garden was developed by them so this developer is actually a master plan developer that has developed 600 acres of it then Hillcrest Heights is almost like their flagship or their very first attempt in trying to impress the public in a luxury high-rise format because if you look around all are landed so this is somewhat their very important attempt in a high-rise building but for their earlier phases of houses it's all driven by word of mouth it's all driven by locals even people who reside in Pujong do not know the existence of this local road hence I will assume that the sense of community here is going to be very very strong neighbors is going to know neighbors pretty well what a hidden jewel within a location that I am so familiar with. Anyway, we are now heading over to the kitchen space. You can see the incredible scale of the space. Right? After having a breakfast counter here, there's still so much space around. Don't know what to do with it. But on a serious note, you have a very nice space for your L-shaped kitchen. Then you have top and bottom cabinets. This will be the location for the fridge connecting into the wet kitchen. There's a separate difference in flooring materials. And here you will have another l shape for your cooking area. So the wall-to-wall -wall space here is around 1.7 meters. And this is a very nice space of kitchen altogether. But please remember, do check with the salesperson on the exact specifications that you're gonna get. So this layout is somewhat like the reference only where you can put a two burner here with your hood cabinet, your basin here facing a very nice window. And I'm very, very delighted with the entire layout of the floor plate. So private, so low density. Then for the wall tiles, it's full height wall tiles all the way for the kitchen space. That's nice. Going into the yard space. Wow. This is a very huge linear form of a yard space where you can put in your washing machine and dryer here just in case the wet kitchen outside not enough this will be the extra wet kitchen area you want to do heavy cooking right then at this end will be the bathroom for the helper of the house and there's still so much space that this will be the area where they put the aircon compressors this will be the helper's room. So this is an opportunity, right, where you can really combo the aircon compressors with the process of drying the clothes, using the hot air and maximizing them, right? This is also a way to really use up all the energy provided within the house. Cool. Okay, coming out from the back of house, this connects us to the private spaces and there's a nice corridor into it. Corridor space here is 1.2 meters in width and around 2.5 meters in height. Coming right in, this will be the first bedroom, second bedroom, the principal bedroom, and this will be the shared bathroom because that has direct ventilation. And I like that all rooms right, are connected to the facade. That's great. Then let's check out the first bedroom first. Going in, you will have the timber textured tiles into the bedroom. So the size of the bedroom is 3.1 meters by 4 meters. It's huge. And what's scary is this is the small bedroom. And you have an amazing facade here, almost a full one connecting directly into the facility stack so your view will be the swimming pool or people swimming around the swimming pool then next to that will be your bed and your dressing table then you can have a very sizable wardrobe on this side i'm not too sure of whether the plastic ceiling comes with the unit but i don't really like the flooring textures to be very honest and that includes the skirtings as well but on a good side the size of the doors are wider compared to the usual but usually we see higher doors right not as practical it looks good only but this one the width of the door is actually bigger so this is a one meter size door very very comfortable when you move things or for elderly or so you don't bump into the edges of the wall that easily second bedroom almost similar in scale and treatment it's going to be an identical one right you have a wardrobe dressing table the bed and after putting all that still got so much circulation space around connected to your full size facade window okay and for the facade window it's only openable on the smaller one right that connects you out to 
the deck. The users of these two bedrooms and the guests will be using this bathroom, right? And in order to save space, as if they've got not enough space, right? <laughs> they further save space by using a sliding door here, and this will be the bathroom. They seen by Koto, WC by Koto. Full height wall tiles, there's a window and there's an extra one just in case frosted for privacy purposes. You will have a sliding shower screen into your shower area. A very, very massive bathroom. Last but not least, this will be the principal bathroom sharing the same flooring material and whoa, it's huge. The wall to wall width here is 3.1 meters, combo with the height, combo with the length, wow, right? After fitting in a king size bed, bedside tables, you still have enough space for a lot more things here. Look at the circulation space around. Then you have the cabinet space and for the facade, the window here is an angled one because it's a corner unit, okay? So imagine if you are on a higher floor, that will be very, very nice. But on this level, also not bad, like looking over the herbs farm. Whew. Then similar treatment with a sliding door, this will be the master bath and this is by Koto as well, WC also Koto. Shower area covered by the sliding shower screen, then you will have the window for ventilation. Again, the size of everything within this project, right? The scale of everything is just huge. So I actually left out the pricing for the unit. For the unit that we visited just now, the price per square feet is around 650 per square feet. And the property price is around 815,000 depending on which floor level that you go. Also some details to add. After going around, right, I noticed the very, very meticulous approach towards all the design details. Like the corridors, hand railing. It's very logical to have a square angle at the edge, right, whenever you bend. But because of safety, they actually chamfered the edge. Then to prevent water from ponding on the ledge itself, they kind of tilt it to flow into the void. Then if you look into the floor trap, there's a lot of chamfering again to ease the flow of water throughout the facilities deck area. Very, very thoughtful design treatments around the detailings of the project. Very, very nice. Cool, back to the unit. And I guess that's all for the unit. It's a fabulous one. And now you can hear some renovation sound already. So people are moving in already. That's always good news. And I think let's check out the highest floor facility. Cool. So now we are at level 19 Sky Garden area and we spoke about this before within this floor plate right half of the units are actually converted into the Sky Garden so left another four more units in terms of privacy then it will be amazing for the rest of them but the usability of people coming into this space then you will have to balance that if you are going to choose a unit within this floor plate but the view around here is amazing two views one facing the other side of Puchong Banda Putri area where this is all the commercial area right this will be the other orientation where the LDB highway actually connects over to Cyber Jaya so after crossing that road another 5-10 minutes you will reach a toll gate that connects into Cyber Jaya straight away and then you can see there that will be the nearest commercial shop block area for convenience then you have a new project coming up real soon indian temple right there and all these are landed properties built by the same developer here and when you can see a lot of water storage tank like this that indicates the height of the topography within the sites in terms of view wise i'm blocked all the way and i guess that's all for this now time for sean stick Three on three. So for the three things I like, number one would be the low density and the very high privacy, the very resort feel kind of design approach to this project. So in total, that's like 255 units per block. So there's two blocks all together only within this land of 7.58 acres. So serious compared to the current norm of development. So when you come up to the floor plate, so there's only eight units per floor and there's only four units per wing. And if you look into the corridor and if you look into the unit, if you look into the facilities, that the amount of scale to everything is just amazing, which is point number two the scale 
to everything else it's never before that we have seen like for all the projects right this is like borderline not making money i think lah because <laughs> if you look into the land size because the land size being so big and the number of residents is so small right the number of floors for car park is only three floors so even if you park at the highest floor of car park right it's not going to be a very bad experience altogether then when you go into the facility deck the canvas available for facilities is amazing that results in a facility deck that is like a resort so you have not only one pool but two pools then you have a koi pool then you have a jogging park when you walk around the facility deck it actually takes a while you have a full tennis court two badminton court multi-purpose hall a lounge Whoa. and then on top of that you will have sky gardens like this and that's all only possible because the sheer size of the site is big in comparison to the number of units that is available and the third thing will be this is part of a master plan development when we see here there's a lot of pocket land development so it will only cause competition between blocks maybe sometimes it's a strategic move to price lower than your project and it will cannibalize each other but when you have a development that has like 600 acres around this Pujong Utama site itself they have built everything from the landed from the road and this will be their very first high-rise project within the site and borderline this is somewhat like a statement to make because they have a new one coming up pretty soon so they need to ensure this one is perfect also the benefit of being within one same master plan right the infrastructures are all controlled if you look into the the trees the road the entrance statements and they will ensure the new block will not affect the old block too much but the three things I don't like about the project, number one, will be the familiarity of this location. Not so much of Puchong, a lot of people, everybody know Puchong, but their knowledge only limits to Banda Putri, also IOI, Puchong Jaya, that's about it. This stretch of Puchong Utama site is really kind of limited to the knowledge of the locals. And that's how these developers have sold so many houses previously, all through word of mouth, all through local driven referrals and that becomes a challenge if for an outsider who is not from Puchong you will never come across this site at all which is really a waste because there's a lot of value for this project then the second point I don't like will be the micro site elements around the project you will have industrial zone you will have some kampong kampong and you have an empty site right in front of the project so for the industrial elements here right it's not heavy industrial type where there will be fumes or chemical release or whatsoever the one immediate to the site is a warehouse logistic kind of usage thing then for the kampong kampong they have been there for a very very long time and it remains the same and for the empty land right in front it's actually within the same party fortunately if it's another different party looking at the sales progress for this project right they will create something else just to disrupt the sales of this in competition so that will be the bad side but fortunately it's within the same party so nothing too much to worry about then the last thing to take note about this project will be this is not going to generate a very high rental return for you as an investment because this is purely designed with an own stay intention in mind everything throughout the whole experience is design for a couple trying to bring up a family if you look into the minimum size it starts from 1001 as a two plus one bedroom up to 1003 which is the unit that we see up to a penthouse unit then you look into the scale of facilities the scale of size corridors privacy everything is not good for numbers <laughs> like the efficiency of the floor plate right to me as a, if i were to be a developer it's not going to make me a lot of money because it's just way too luxurious there's just too many empty space plus with such a site and limited number of units right the maintenance cost is only going to go up as utility price is going to go up as cost of manpower is going to go up so that's going to be a hefty cost of ownership that comes with this kind of resort home but on the contrary if you're looking for a hidden space not so public kind of area where it's full with amenities there's like two local schools here already a stone throw away you will reach commercial zones on Banda Putri and IOI LRT station is like a 5-10 minutes drive away 
especially if you work around the Cyber Jaya Putra Jaya side of things, right? Or Subang Jaya side of things. This is really, really convenient. And I guess that's all for this episode. Do I like this? Definitely. Like I'm asking already, like the unit that just now we saw, the garden unit, right? Is it available for rent or is it available for sale already? Unfortunately, it's not too bad. Because that's gonna be my weekend hangout with my kid already. I don't have to even go out anymore. And I can get all the things I want within proximity of like five, 10 minutes drive. And I guess that's all. If you really like this episode, like it, share, and even subscribe for more information like this. Until next time, this is Shantan. Ciao.